what we're going to be doing this evening is to be reading different sections of it. It basically tells about Elma Napier's arrival in Dominica uh, and with her family. My mother was seven years old at the time in 1932 and uh, remembers vividly all of the experiences written about in this book. Uh, my grandparents went on to uh, fall in love with Dominica, as so many people have, and then by land uh, up at Calabishi. And my mother will be talking about the whole episode of buying the land, you know, Dominica family land, 19 people owning one piece of land and having everybody to get the sign and share the money out between everybody. That's her part of the story. Then my grandfather got involved in politics in Dominica. He was asked by people like um, Howell Schlingford and Ralph Nichols and the others to get involved in politics, which he did. He was elected in 1937, but he had developed tuberculosis and he realized that he would not be able to continue. And so he resigned and he um, invited his constituents uh, to vote at the by-election for his wife, my grandmother. And so she was elected to serve for the Northeastern constituency, which in those days stretched from Penville to Mont Jean, the parishes of St. Andrew and St. David. So that's a hellish constituency, most of which without roads had to be done on horseback and that kind of thing. Remember, however, those were the days of before universal adult suffrage. My grandfather has a voters list for Wesley and you could read all the names because there were only 21 voters in Wesley. Uh, so you can imagine how much there were in Mont Jean and Rivier Siric. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, my grandmother took over and she stayed in Parliament for 14 years, off and on, uh, uh, to the end as a nominated member. So what I will be reading is the drama of the construction of the Transinsular Road. The politics behind, you know, Dominica, everything has a little politics in it. And we ride along this road to the airport and we don't realize the drama of the actual construction of that road. So I'll be reading about her part in the construction of the Transinsular Road. And then Petria here, her great granddaughter, will be reading about one of the first times somebody from Dominica went to represent Dominica in the international circuit. There was a Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference in Nairobi in Africa, in East Africa, and nobody wanted to go to Africa. It was very peculiar. Nobody in the legislature wanted to go to Africa. So she said, well, I will go and represent Dominica, and she will read about the experience of representing Dominica and trying to get people to buy our oranges and grapefruit and all that way out in um, Nairobi. So that's the last part. So maybe now I will call on my dear mother to read um, this first part about being in Calabishi and falling in love with the place and generally getting to buy it. <laughs> 